I kind of wonder if he got it because a ton of other directors are like, yeah, you know what? That's fucking pandering. Like, we don't want to touch that. David's like, sure, I'll make it. And lo and behold, fucking hold, he writes a script that is so dull, devoid of horror, any kind of tension, any kind of uncomfortable feeling, and just such bare respect and reflection on the original film is astounding. Now, one of the things that I loved so much about the original film was not just the horror element of the possession and everything, but also the horror of the medical system. It was so well done and it held on shots about Reagan going through all of the absolute fucking medieval-like forms of brain scans back in the 70s. And this film decides to spend maybe 30 seconds on for a certain type of kit that you have to go through once you are found in a missing person's case and then the mental hospital system it's like a checklist of okay yeah we went to those spots that was what the original did okay now let's move on to the next one for a movie that is 30 minutes shorter than the first one it moves along like a fucking snail you don't really have any connection with any of the characters except for maybe the next door neighbor who has a traumatic past of her own the dad is kind of moon this movie the family of the other affected daughter is kind of moon this movie the two best points for sure are the girls they do pretty good with what they're given and the fact that david gordon green is their director they did pretty good their makeup's okay and then that's kind of it the final exorcism of the movie is so boring. It takes about 25 minutes in before you actually get like, oh, really? And then about 30 seconds into it, you realize, oh, I already know how that's going to fucking end. Now, to say that this movie is god awful isn't a fully accurate description. The acting is pretty okay from everyone. The production value with the camera, the lighting, all that's good. The girls and the makeup, that's pretty okay too. It's just the aspect of entertainment through the writing, the pacing, and the general direction of the plot is just so bare bones. It doesn't add anything for you to care about. Most entertaining part of this whole movie to me was when the girl is doing the, the body and the blood, and then she starts to say it in a pattern that is so reminiscent the disturbs let the bodies hit the floor that I was kind of like that, that was the most entertaining factor I had to this movie oh and I haven't even gotten to the fucking legacy character that they brought in holy fuck did he take a note from Disney about what to do with a legacy character we brought Chris in from the original movie who apparently did not want to be in this. Even when they doubled her salary uh, offer, she's like, I feel like I'm being tempted by the devil. And lo and behold, fucking hold, she gave most of it to charity. And I feel like, I don't know, the studio took that personally and what they do to her in this movie is so fucking like disrespectful. You had no reason to bring her in and then you do some half-ass bullshit at the end of the movie. I have to also say, what the fuck is it with that last edit? There's two editing things that happen in this movie. There's this priest who goes on this, he goes on this very passionate speech to the clergy about all these things that he's seen. Wh where is that in the movie? Where is that? And the second is the last shot. I literally went back and watched it five different times just to see. No, there is just for some reason, some last minute edit back to the, to one of the characters just sitting just it's like a two second shot nothing happens it's just there they already had a pretty okay last shot and then they just decided to go back to the last one just to try and make people overthink the ending this isn't a garbage movie but it's a bad movie doesn't warrant its existence especially with the caliber that's preceding it i don't know why they made it i don't know how they are going to turn this around but i've already heard that david gordon green is not going to do the other two which is already a positive notion but most likely it's going to be taken on by some other hack horror directors because no one's going to want to touch it especially after david did this first iteration so in the end my review for exorcism believer is a generous two out of seven the two is for the girls the makeup and a lot of the behind the scenes production value everything else is a huge detractor from it but those are my thoughts on this movie. I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say, so let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, I hope you've enjoyed these reviews. Maybe I'll go back to doing the Saw ones with Mark. We, we still have a few to edit, so... Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys later.